Antonio Argentina Rocca is perhaps one of the most influential performers professional wrestling has ever known. Much like Carpentier, Rocca's high flying style would influence generations of wrestlers to come. He was not only an exciting, fresh performer to the fans of his era, but he also showed that a wrestler could be very funny and still make the fans take him seriously. His opponent in our next match has been called the greatest champion of all time. Luthez made his pro wrestling debut at the age of 16. He trained under many legends from the early 20th century, including the legendary Ed Strangler Lewis, George Tragos. Thez was probably the most respected man in wrestling during his career both in and outside of the ring. Lou Thez was considered old school even during the 1950s. He had learned extremely painful, potentially crippling wrestling moves that dated back to the very origins of pro wrestling. Very few were privileged with the skill and wrestling knowledge to attain his status and to this day Luthez is treated with extra respect from wrestlers, both young and old, as the greatest wrestler of all time. He got him. Luthez would go on to be the first and only man to wrestle in five different decades, furthering his legendary career. The wrestling world was shocked when Antonio Argentina Rocca passed away on March 15, 1977, at the young age of 49. Argentina Rocca!